I wanted to get myself out of debt. And whether you know it or not, I went to the consignment shop for years. I went to the consignment shops and wore people's old clothes until I got out of debt. I'm not telling you something that I've never experienced before. I needed a car one year. And I promise you, I got this raggedy old car. And it took me to point A and it took me to point B. It ran. And I thank God it ran it, it ran so good I didn't have to invest in fixing it up because you could buy a car and it's a limit and you can put more into the car than you did purchasing the car. So you have to be very mindful of that too. And some of you right now, you just need to go on the Goodwill. Go to the Goodwill and stay out the mall. Hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. I just want you guys to do better. I am so tired of hearing conversations and getting excited and the people who are sharing the information do not look like me. I'm saying this to help somebody that you can and you will be debt free if you get excited and do the work. Get excited about the knowledge that is free online concerning financial freedom. Keep that same energy that you have when you look at a dress in the mall and your hand starts getting sweaty. You get excited and know, oh, I want, I want to buy it. <sighs> this could pay a bill. Now, can we do that? I need everybody today to look at your finances and look at the area where you need freedom in it. You have to look at your credit, pull it, and work at it. Because it's time out for all of this hardship financially. Stop trying to impress people. It's okay to live in an apartment. Don't let nobody tell you that. Because I know somebody that lived, you, you ever read The Millionaire Next Door? I know somebody that lived in an apartment because he was saving so much for his children. When he passed away, he left them millions. Come off of Timu. Come off of Sheen. Come off of Amazon just for a period. Come off of it for a minute. Somebody said, I do my own hair, my own hit, hit nails seven years now. Whatever you got to do to cut that budget down, do it. Some of you need to just pack lunches. Pack your lunch. Some of you just need to just take a cup of coffee and get a tumbler and, and just buy, don't, stop, don't buy Starbucks. If you could afford to live this way,